Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2014 Grade 7 8 Contest Question 17, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 contests. Now, the question is An arrested man said that he had three sons. The product of the sons' ages is 36, and the sum of their ages is equal to the number of people we both just see crossing the street. A policeman said that this information is not sufficient to define the son's ages. After the arrested man added that his oldest son wears glasses, the policeman determined the ages of his sons. What are they? Hint. Compute all possible sums from knowing the product. What does it mean if knowing the sum does not give the three numbers? So what we want to find out first is all possible trios of ages. Alright, now we will start out with 1 because that's the smallest factor of 36. And now we can write 1 again because we know that the children can be of the same age. And then 36 divided by 1 is 36. Alright, and now the next biggest factor of 36 is then 2, so we can write 1 again. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay, the next biggest factor of 36 is then 3. And then 36 divided by 3 is 12. Alright, the next biggest factor of 36 is then 4. 36 divided by 4 is then 9. Okay, and then the next biggest factor of 36 is then 6. And we can still write 1. And then 36 divided by 6 is 6. And now, the next biggest factor of 36 would be then 9, but 36 divided by 9 is 4, and then we would be writing 1, 9, and 4, but we already have that combination of ages here is 1, 4, 9, since the order of the ages does not matter. Now we will move on to 2. That's the next biggest factor of 36. Okay, and now 36 divided by 2 is 18, so we need to find the next biggest factor of 18, but we can write 2 again, because they can be of the same age. And then 18 divided by 2 is a 9. Okay, and now the next biggest factor of 18 is in 3. And then 18 divided by 3 is in 6. Now the next biggest factor of 18 would then be not 4, not 5. It would be 6, but then we would be writing 2, 6, 3. But we already have 2, 3, 6. We already have that combination of ages, 2, 3, and 6. So we must move on to the next biggest factor of 36 is then 3. And then 36 divided by 3 is 12. And then the next biggest factor of 12 is then just 3. Then we have 12 divided by 3 is then 4. And now the next biggest factor of 12 would be 4. But again, that would be writing 3, 4, and then 3. But we already have that combination of ages. Okay, so these are all possible trios of ages. And now following the hint from the question, we now want to find the sums of these ages. So 1 plus 1 plus 36 is 38. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 18 is 21. 1 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 12 is 16. 
then 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 9 is 14. Okay, then 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 6 is 13. And 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 9 is 13. And then 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 6 is 11. And finally, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. Okay, so now we know the sums of all possible combinations of ages, but what do we do next? Now let's look into the question for the next clue. Now let's just read the question, we, or the last hint. We see that it says, what does it mean if knowing the sum does not give the three numbers? Well, if knowing the sum would give the three numbers, then in this question that would be, for example, the sum 10 or 11 and so on because those sums appear only once in the question and for example if we knew that the sum would be 10 then we knew we would know that the ages would be 3 3 and 4 and for example 11 if we knew that the sum of ages was 11 we would know it would have to be the ages would have to be 2 3 and 6 okay but since from the question it says Knowing the sum does not give the three numbers, it must be a sum that appears at least twice. And the only sum here that appears at least twice is 13. So it must be, the ages must be either 1, 6, and 6, or 2, 2, and 9. So now, how do we know which is correct? Well, we need to look into the question for the next and final clue. Okay, so now skim reading through. Here, we can see this sentence. After the arrested man added that his oldest son wears glasses, the policeman determined the ages of his sons. Now, the key term in this sentence is the oldest son. And now, looking here, we can see for the one, six, and six, we have two of the children, the two oldest children, are the same age. So we know that it must be 2, 2, and 9. So the ages must be 2, 2, and 9. Now, the key to solving this problem is to read the question very carefully word by word, and if necessary, going back to previous sentences or earlier sentences and taking information from them for the next clue. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.